love is all that I can give to you. Love is more than just a game for two. Oh, my baby still has a very bad look to it. A lot of people say, oh, online dating is only for kooks, losers, weirdos. I've heard terrible stories. I can never, ever, ever, ever do it. And what I like to pose to people is how do you not know that that person that you met at a, you know, a laundromat, a coffee shop, uh, you know, uh, a community center is not a poop loser or weirdo as well. It's, you know, it's using our common sense. Um, and so that's what's going to start me off right up front is you need to be aware. Be aware. Now you'll, you'll take the time to invest in finding a banker. You'll take the time to invest in uh, you know, in a new car, take the time to invest maybe into a new career or, or a move or, or a construction or work in your house. Why would you not do the same when you're dating? This is what really surprises me. This is what, this is the pitfalls that happen to people so that bad things happen. Be aware that you know, safety equals respect for yourself and it absolutely equals respect for that other person. That other person is even going to go and think, wow, this person's really making those extra measures to be safe, so that says something in itself. People don't slow it down. They see a great picture. I mean, how many of us have seen just beautiful people with great pictures, a wonderful profile? And what I like to tell people is, what you see is not what always you're going to get. So just be prepared for that. People embellish things a little bit. I'm not me, ever. <laughs> they said they actually had something that was really funny. They had a, uh, uh, a a consensus that women tend to lie about their ages and their weights. <laughs> and men tend to lie about baldness, <laughs> their finances, and what they what they feel and think an athletic figure is. <laughs> Does your loneliness cloud your judgment? Because it does for a lot of people. And actually psychologists have actually done a study, which, you know, we all heard this before, love is blind. I mean, all of us have heard that saying before. And it's true. They've actually, um, you know, they have this term where chemically your body will cloud your judgment and your mind will change. And that's called hormones. It's also called the fantasy of falling and being in love with somebody. So you didn't tell me that you didn't want any attraction. Of course, you're looking for something more than just attraction. Your picture is, is a way for you to put yourself out there and I think that it would um, be a lie for me not to tell you that you got to have initial spark with somebody. You got to have a little bit of chemistry. And I'm a true believer that beauty comes in all shapes, all sizes, all ages. And to me, if you don't put a picture of yourself online, you're not happy with who you are as a human being and where you're at in the stage of your life. Please have a current picture. Nothing that's five years ago, or 10 years ago, or 20 years ago. There's nothing more disappointing that when you get to know a person online, and then you're going out for a cup of coffee to meet that person, and the person looks nothing like their photo. And I've had that happen many, many times. Here's the thing, there's a term, meet the representative. Have you ever, anyone heard that term before? Meet the person's represent. You're on your best behavior. The other person's on their best behavior. You're looking your best. You're not going to let anything get you down. You're not going to freak out. And then all of a sudden, you notice that like after three or six months, the real person shows up. That is the difficult part, I think, for a lot of people who date a lot is sometimes, you know, uh, the quickness of it, you know, and that's healthy, actually. That's a healthy thing. This one is like, gosh, you know, this is a little exhausting. But then I, I have to tell them, well, wait a second. Is it more exhausting to keep going through all these people or be stuck with the same person wasting your life for a year in a horrible, horrific relationship? Dating is a valued risk. It's a valued risk, which means that, you know, with everything in life, there's going to be risk. But you're going to get out there, you're going to practice, and you're going to get acclimated, you're going to get ready for that right person. What I like to tell people is, we all have heard that saying, it's not personal, it's business. It is the same thing with dating. It's not personal to you that that person didn't call back. It's not personal to you that you had to turn that person down. It's not personal to you that maybe, you know, you've gone maybe three or four dates and it hasn't worked out. It's the business of the universe to get you ready for that right person. Because again, it's about effort. And I also believe, and take what you will of this, there are no accidents that happen. No relationships are accidents.
people come into your life for very specific reasons to give you a great lesson. It takes two to tango. So if you've gone through a bad relationship, you have to own up to that too as well. There was a reason why that person came into your life. There's a reason why maybe things didn't work out. Is all that I can give to you.